Hello everyone, I am Prasad from Structural Guide. Today we are going to discuss about welding defects. Before discussing about the welding defects, I would like to request you to you all to follow our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to get new notifications on videos. Let's discuss about the welding defects. What is the welding? According to Oxford, Welding is defined as joined together in two metal parts by heating the surface to the point of melting with the blowpipe, electric cup or any other means and uniting them by pressing, hammering etc. Welding is used in many many industries, not only construction but also in other industries also welding is used. Welding is used to connect metal plates, connect joints, etc. So, le le I think we all know what welding is. So, let's discuss about why welding defects occur. Few of few things that uh, we could uh, observe in welding, uh, I, I have listed here. Poor quality and quality assurance. If you don't do the quality control and quality assurance correctly, there could be defects in the building. Negligence, unskilled labor, incorrect construction practices. Because there are many that could result in welding defects. So we have to take actions to avoid these things. In addition, there are many other things that we discuss today. Welding defects type of welding defects that we mostly we identify I have listed here undercut slag inclusions incomplete penetrations lack of fusion porosity hydrogen heat effect zone of coal cracking solidus metal solidifications or hot crackings lamellar theory let's discuss about each type of these defects in detail undercut what is this undercut? As you can see in this figure, you can see here the base metal thickness has been reduced. See, base metal thickness has been reduced. This is called the undercut. So, with the reduction of the base metal thickness, the structural capacity of the element reduced because the cross sections of the element is reduced. So, main reasons for this undercut is excessive current. Or excessive heat cause of course at the edge of the base metal and this base metal drain into the weld so with that the section is reduced poor welding techniques also could be another reason that is could be not adequate filling metals yeah so this this uh, base metal could weld melt use of incorrect incorrect filler metal that's caused the temperature gradient between the center of the weld and the surface of the weld. That also could be one of the reasons. Inco incorrect electrode diameter could also be a reason. Use of the damaged electrode, sorry, use of the damp electrode also could result of this kind of defects. Excessive arc length, slow speed welding also could lead to melting the base metal than uh, base metal and into the welding pool. Those kind of things we can identify as the reason for the undercuts. Slag inclusion. We all know what the slag is. Slag is non-metallic particles derived from the flux. So this slag inclusion in the weld could reduce this step. If there are significant amount of slag collected in the weld, there will be issue. You can see in this figure there are places that could slag collected between two welding passes there could be slag in the within the weld so why this slag connected now uh, when when there are several passes uh, of welding is done if one might not kill clean this slag or clean if one not remove this flux completely, they will 
be there so we have to be very careful and we have to take uh, adequate actions we have to supervise that we have to remove these slags completely so there there could be other reasons like um, in a narrow place when you do the welding or so there may be possibilities because sometimes may be difficult to clean and also use of the unskilled labor also be a reason for this kind of a error or the issue one of the other defects that we did we discuss today is incomplete penetration incomplete penetration means this slag sorry this base welding material are not completely fill in the gap this could be due to the low current because the when when there is a low current this uh, the heat may be low the well metal could be solidify very quickly another another reason may be due to the too low incline angle of the electrode electrode being too large if if the electrode is a bit larger then there could be these kind of issues and also having very small root gap also be a reason for this kind of issue lack of fusion as the name imply lack of fusion is lack of connection between the welding lines or it could be between the base metal as you can see here here there is a issue two welds are not that connected here also there is a issue the welding line and the base metal is not connected properly this could be due to the lack of penetration also and also this may be due to the contamination of the rust if there are impurities in the weld there could be such issues because this impurities will be collected on those surfaces then the, the the bond may not be there so let's move on to next welding defect porosity porosity of a weld caused by entrapping the gas within the weld it's reduce the strength and it's depending on the number of the cavities the reduction is be higher but this is not very significant issue if there are no that much of the cavities in the weld porosity porosity occurs due to the gas solubility of the weld pool that diminishes when cooling now gas solubility in the weld this porosity occur this when it solidify the gas will be within the weld pool next issue we are going to discuss about today is hydrogen heat effect zone or cold cracking cold cracks occurs in heat affected zone a heat effect zone is that weld and the weld metal heat affected zone crack occur as the heat heated zone temperature drops below the 300 degrees celsius these cracks might not occur after some times of the welding it's not suddenly this crack this type of cracks occur mostly these cracks occur in service stage of the structure that's a common case that when you use the structure or even after some time of the welding this kind of cracks could occur this can occur due to the following reasons these are the to uh, now i'm going to discuss about the following main reason that could occur this kind of crack cooling rate effect of the properties of the weld metal as we know now when you make the reinforcement also we make the reinforcement by controlling the cooling rate we get the highest and by cooling controlling the cooling rate likewise if you if depending on the cooling rate material property changes so therefore depending on the rate of the hardening the material ductility could change material ductility could loss so if ductility is not there there there, there could be possibility of cracking inclusion of the moisture with the introduction of the hydrogen arc so or hyd hydrocarbon contamination these are some of the other reason that could cause this kind of a packing formation of microscopic voids within the pressure with pressure in the weld with the introduction of the hydrogen weld arc so this also kind of a possibility causing cracks in the weld if you continue the same same issue 
what are the key parameters to be considered to control these kind of a hydrogen heat effects or no cold cracking? What kind of things we can do? We have to be careful on the material composition. Ductility of the material depends on the carbon nickel value. As we know, ductility depends on the carbon nickel value. The carbon nickel value equivalent value is one of the parameters we use to measure the ductility of material. It's, it shall maintain at the acceptable level. Otherwise, there will be issue. According to the general norm, if the carbon equivalent value reaches 0.041% and O oh, plate thickness reaches 30 mm, there is a significant change in hydrogen cracking. There is a significant chance in hydrogen cracking. Therefore, we have to take this reaction in such situations. If you know the carbon equivalent value is around 0.41%, or base metal thickness is 30 mm, so we have to be careful. Next thing, the hydrogen level also could be reason for this kind of thing. Cooling rate, restraints. Some of things we might not be able to control like restraints or cooling rate, but other things we can control. So with that we can reduce or minimize crack, these kind of cracks. Solidus well, metal solidification or hot cracking. These defects could reduce the strength significantly. As you can see in this figure, these cracks occur in the longitudinal direction of the weld. You can see. So, if these kind of cracks will be there, the strength of the weld be, will be reduced. So, therefore, we have to be very careful about these kind of cracks. This kind of crack occurs. Shortly after welding metal is solidifies, welding, metal, welding material uh, get solidified shortly after the welding. This are after the metal solidify, this kind of a crack occurs. It won't take that much of time. So it, during the solidification period, it occurs. Middle zone of the weld is the zone that get hardened lately. Middle zone, we, as you know, middle zone is the zone that we harden lately. Since most of the impurities have a low melting point, those material will collect on those zones. It leads to the crack because weak material collected in the middle zone. So, if there are weak materials, so it's, then there are, there are possibilities of cracking. Even after solidification, this uh, well metal continue cooling and it contracts with the with the with the reduction in the temperature it contracts a weak zone in the well could crack due to these contractions if there are weak zones in the well now like impurities or anything are there there could be cracks so therefore we have to be careful about this well material and the cleaning of the material before welding the final defects today we are going to discuss is the lamellar tear. This defects caused due to the rolling process of the metal and sinkage strain that occurs after the welding. This is very important in welding connection design because if there are internal cracks, there, there will be issues to the strength of the welding. There may be possibility to break down the connections. Steps like cracks in this base metal parallel to the base metal plate occur. You can see in this figure, base metal, there are cracks in the base metal. They are steps like cracks. They have steps like cracks. So the, these cracks occur internally. So we cannot see it. Therefore, we have to be very careful about this kind of a formation of cracks. With that, uh, our today's uh, video is over. So today, today we are discuss about the welding defects different type of defects we discuss how could they occur and how do we manage those things how do we minimize those and what sort of actions we should be taken over these kind of things thank you very much for watching our video please follow our youtube channel structural guide thank you very much